What's up guys, welcome back. And I thought I would get us going today with a post from the Neville Sub. This one is by a poster who we have read their posts from before, past calligrapher. And one post in particular that stood out was the one about manifesting people, which I can link above for you guys to check out. But this one is called Final Words, Why It Works. So apparently this is the last post that they're making. We're gonna go into it and reveal some wisdom from within. Okay. So I wanted to talk about a subject that I believe can be a game changer, yet I don't see it in here. Most of the posts and content online is explaining how the law works or how to do this or manifest that, but I don't see content explaining why the law works and why you are already that which you want to be. Neville Post promised basically. I really hope this will be enough to get you out of fear and anxiety and wonder what if I did it wrong and what technique I should use and all of that. Anyways, let's get into it. So as I mentioned above, as how the law works is pretty simple and abundantly available. You just believe you have your desire and you end up having it. But why is that? Let's play a little game first. I want to ask you, I want you to ask yourself these questions. Why do you want the things you want? Why do you want your, your SP or better job or anything? To feel loved, free, secure. Okay, but why do you want to feel loved or free or secure? Why not something else? For a change, why don't you start adopting your friend's desires? Feels weird, right? So why do you want your desires then? Is it something you've always wanted since you can remember? Why is that? You don't know, right? The answer just ends up being just because. And this is exactly what I want you to realize. You did not choose your desires. You came to earth and knew you wanted certain things, but not others. Just like why didn't the Pope want to be a rock star instead? Or why didn't Rihanna want to be a nun and live in seclusion? You get the point. We don't decide what we want. Our desires are crafted by God, our, our God self. And they're given to us because we are meant to have them. It is indeed a promise. So truly, once you have a desire for something, you should feel grateful immediately because, oh my gosh, it means it's mine. I'm chosen to have that blessing of being perfect, a perfect wife, billionaire, superstar, whatever it is you want. The mere fact you want it means it's possible. So do you want it despite your history and circumstances? Then guess what? They don't matter. Otherwise, you wouldn't still want it. Do you want it despite your 3D showing you the opposite in life? Then cheer up. A path exists for you to go from your 3D to a new 3D where you have your desire. But then why do we sometimes fail at getting our desires or the opposite and get unwanted things in general? Because we still hold the power. We are still the one and operant power in our reality. And while our desires are like a pin in the map showing us where we're supposed to go, we still hold the wheel and can go against that. Because we're so freaking powerful here, there's no power that can steer us back to the road, even if we go against our desires. Even if we go in a direction that has pain or suffering, there's no power outside us to deny us that. So we end up getting what we decided to get. How do we decide what to get? You should know that already. Your state, your attention, your focus, your beliefs. What you are is what you get. And you decide what you what to be every second of the day. You just usually decide to be exactly who you were the second before. Okay, but why do we have desires in the first place? This is the juicy part. We're here, the entire earth and life for everything we're part of exists for one reason, for consciousness to expand. And we are all part of this consciousness. For us to expand, we design this game. We take individuals, give them desires and limitations, get them to break free of those limitations to reach their goal. The true goal being them breaking the limitations and we have consciousness expanding. So you wanting your SP isn't even about them or getting them. They're the carrot on the stick that gets you to do the work. The reason you want them is because you were support, supposed to grow and expand. So look at yourself and see what's preventing you from being with them. Lack of confidence, belief that they are more powerful than you, belief that you are not good enough. Whatever you will find is the true reason you want your desire. Your desire is then there to free you from your limitations because you can only have it once you drop them and adopt a new improved version of yourself. 
Then the more you get done and the more belief you have in you being God, which is the ultimate goal for all of us. So be thankful for your desires and know that you are knowing about the law or even struggling with it. And that's part of your expansion. If you didn't want the thing that brought you here, you'd still be asleep operating from 3D autopilot, but you're not. So be grateful and just know that your desire is meant to be all yours and all you have to do is really accept that it is yours by accepting that you have to let go of other shit you previously accepted. And know that because it is your desire, it doesn't matter what you did or what they said or what technique to use, what words to affirm, nothing matters. It is meant for you whether you want to believe it or not. It's an invitation for you to accept or pass on. So why not accept it? I hope this is clear and not too hard to understand. Try to tone it down as much as I could, um, but ask your questions in the comments if you have any. So they're leaving it at that. <laughs> this person usually says it's their last post, but then they end up coming back at some point or another. But yeah, I mean, you know, I've, I've talked about this idea before that like our desires are really just a, and our manifestations, goals, whatever you want to call them, they are just a part of the process of us becoming all that we all that we can be of us becoming really like they've said expanded of us expanding what we're capable of past what we perceive to be our limitations so you know I, I do agree with this for sure I think that a lot of us we have these desires and, and really the desires are almost just like a proxy for that expanded version of the of who we're becoming and that is one reason that we have our desires. And yeah, a lot of people do have similar desires. I mean, the argument could be made that everybody wants, you know, an attractive partner. Everybody wants the good life. Everybody wants to be safe and secure and have financial stability. But the more nuanced preferences that we have are definitely a part of that expanded, us expanding our particular individual con consciousness. And, um, you know, every, everything always goes back to this, like, this state of balance that I always talk about. It's like, um, you could have two different philosophies in life. One being that, you know, you're just content all the time with no matter what that you have. And that can be, you know, you the, the extreme example of that is like the monk that just meditates and sits there. And then the other example of like, that hedonic treadmill where it's like every single time you're always chasing for the next hit, the next best thing, the next pleasure seeking activity. And I think like the the path of life is somewhere in between where it's like you do feel grateful and contented for what you have, but then you also strive for ex that, this expansion that we're talking about, you know, striving to create this better life for yourself, but not in a place where it, it's coming from that needing, craving, desperate energy. Because ironically and unfortunately, when we come at our goals from that from that needing desperate place, it pushes the goals further away. So the more that we can be grateful for what we have, accept where we're at right now, but then also adopt this mentality that's saying that, look, yeah, you know, if I have these desires, then there is a way, there is a way that I can fulfill them. There's a way that they may, may not be known to me right now. And I may, that might be part of the journey is just making those decisions, making those decisions along the way, because the path will reveal itself. But you know, this is something that has been a theme in my life, as I'm sure many of you where it seems like, okay, I don't know how to get to that next goal. Well, part of that then is just making a decision, making a decision, it may not be the best plan. There's that quote that says, uh, you know, half cocked plan or something really well executed is way better than a genius plan that's not well executed. So as long as you get the momentum going, that's when you begin to see the signs and the synchronicities. And again, as maybe cliche as it sounds, the path will unfold, it will reveal itself, it will begin to, and then you'll begin to get the more that you go on that path, like we've been covering in Maxwell and Maltz's Psycho Cybernetics, the more that now, okay, I, I know that this wasn't working, so I'll adjust a little bit. I'll course correct this way, a little bit this way. And that's the way that we expand and continually expand. So with that being said, guys, I hope this is uh, valuable. And, you know, um, <laughs> drop me a like, hit me with a, drop a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are on this. And I will see you guys in the next video.